Hey Aries, um, this is your weekly reading for this week. I already have the cards out. I was having an issue with my technology, so we're only part way through, so I'm just going to recap everything that has come out. So the first card I got for you is action. Okay, and this is the number 17. This reduces to a number 8. So for many of you, this is either this either has to do with your career, but for the majority, I'm feeling that this is more of a karmic cycle that you're in that you're trying to break free from. So there's something that you want to take action on, okay, with this action card. And then we also have a woman holding a coin and indecision. So there's a decision that you're making. And that's what we're diving into. So I had clarified the action card for you. And clarification, we have Capricorn energy, which is the devil. We have the two of swords, and then also the four of pentacles. So with the devil card here, this is going to be different for all of you. But for some of you, I'm seeing addictions, um, but this can also be um, codependency, negative thinking patterns that you have. This could be a toxic relationship that you're in. Um, really anything that isn't healthy for you is the energy that I'm picking up. So you're, you're currently in this Two of Swords energy, right? And you see how she's blindfolded. So you're making a decision. But with her blindfold being on, it's kind of like you're <clears throat> blinded by you're blinded by toxicity. Something toxic in your life is kind of like pulling a wool over your eyes. And the energy I'm picking up, it's kind of like you, whatever this is, you want to let this go. But for your own personal re reasons, with the Four of Pentacles, you're holding on to this. So let's go ahead and clarify. Let's clarify the Four of Pentacles for you. We have. The Hermit, which is the Virgo energy. Okay. And then we have Cancer energy, the Chariot, and the Five of Swords. My ear is ringing. Hold on. So some of you could literally be holding on to one of these signs who and this person isn't good for you or this career whatever this is but I feel like this is a I feel like the reason why you haven't made this decision yet um, with indecision and then also the two of swords I feel that you're kind of in this place of contemplation you're um, soul searching you're shining a light on whatever this is this can even be you just shining a light on your shadow side with the devil and the hermit here um, so you're shining a light on something, you're going more in depth, you're trying to understand something from a different per perspective before you move forward. So there's something in your past or something currently that you're experiencing that's coming up for you. And I feel like this is, uh, for a lot of you, your shadow self. So you're really reflecting on this, um, what you can do. Because it's interesting, the way it's out on the table is the hermit is away from the chariot. So I feel like you're still in this place where you're just trying to understand something from a different perspective. You're shining a light on something that maybe before you were afraid to shine a light on. You were afraid. I'm, I'm hearing you were afraid for the truth to be revealed. Um, but I do see movement forward because we have the chariot here and then we have the five of swords. So the Five of Swords, in your case, I feel like this is the battle you're going to have to go through. There's something heavy that you've experienced or you're currently experiencing. Some of you might be um, going to therapy, doing something that causes you to face the shadow side of you or this darkness that you've endured. I just kind of keep getting that because... Um, yeah, with the Chariot and the Five of Swords, I just keep getting, it's like, you're getting ready to go into this battle. You're ready to go into this battle. You're ready to face this. So I don't really see the Five of Swords as a negative thing. I see it more as you're ready to, you're ready, ready to do this.
So I'm, I'm with the woman holding a coin. I'm really getting like root chakra energy. So some of you might have uh, fear, anxiety, things like that. Um, have a hard time staying present. So I feel like it's because of this devil energy, whatever this was that had happened or um, whatever it is you're getting ready to go into battle and face. Um, I feel like this has a lot to do with your root chakra. So you might want to look that up if you aren't familiar with the chakras to get that unblocked, different things that you can do. I definitely feel meditation would benefit you greatly right now. I'm going to put these away and let's go ahead and we're going to clarify a woman a coin. I just saw 555. Five, five. So you guys are going through massive changes. Um, and then the number 42 breaks down to a number 6. So this could have to do with love and harmony within yourself. Maybe this is something you're seeking. You're wanting, you're wanting harmony. You're wanting to establish peace within yourself. And in order to do that, it's that energy of you have to face it and go through the battle in order to do it. So that's probably why you're shining a light on whatever this is. Yeah, it has a lot to do with your own inner stability. I mean, whether this is financial or this is emotional. And then <laughs> five swords on the bottom again. Um, yeah, so you're deciding, yeah, you're deciding to look at things from a different perspective with the hangman, and then we have the king of pentacles, so it's like, this has everything to do with your own stability, um, you gaining a new perspective on whatever that devil energy was in the past, what is this woman holding a coin? Now this could have been a partnership because we have the Queen of Pentacles at the bottom and then we also have the King of Pentacles. So this could have been a toxic relationship that you're either in currently or in the past or this could have been um, even your childhood, like a mother or father figure, somebody who was supposed to love and nurture you just didn't and they had a lot of toxic traits and projected their pain onto you. So, but whatever this is, you're gaining a new perspective. Okay, and you're, you're gaining that stability within yourself. You're finding balance within yourself and you're having the courage to um, face that. I say courage because this is Leo energy. Um, yeah. So we also have the Ace of Wands. So you're wanting a new beginning. You're wanting a brand new passionate beginning um, and you're wanting to take action on something. You're wanting something new. And it's kind of like, this is the universe, like, handing it to you, like, hey, you know, go this way. Um, yeah. I feel like this is a big lesson in self-love for you. And a lot of this came up in the daily reading today, so you might want to check that out. I got double confirmation on your sign for that daily reading. So it wouldn't surprise me if that resonated with you as well. So let's go ahead and look at indecision. Let's see. What is this indecision about? Communication. It's the first thing I heard. We have eight of wands here. Okay. Let's do one more. Okay. Okay. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the nine of swords, but I did see it in reverse, so we're going to keep it that way. So with this upright, it's kind of like, whatever this is, whatever that devil energy is, it's something that's been haunting you, you've been in your head about things, um, but the good news is this was in reverse. So I feel like this is what you're deciding to change. You're wanting to change this aspect of yourself. You're wanting to face whatever this is, whatever it is haunting you, so that you can move forward in your life. So... With indecision, we have the Eight of Wands. I almost said Ace of Wands, but we do have that here too. The Seven of Swords. And then we also have the Death card, which is Scorpio Energy. So, with the Eight of Wands, I, I'm feeling that you want to reach out to somebody. You're wanting 
this is more of an energy of you wanting to talk about what you're going through or wanting to talk about what it is that you had experienced to um, release is what I'm hearing. Because the Seven of Swords, this is like an energy of betrayal. Um, so something something happened and it was wrong. Like I just get this energy like it was wrong, whatever it was. Um, and it's kind of like an energy of like something being covered up, like something couldn't be known is the energy I'm picking up. I just keep getting like, it just, secrets coming out. Um, nobody could know. Um, but this is coming to an end. Okay, so you're choosing to close out this cycle. That's the decision you're making. You're choosing to put into this and you're choosing to transform yourself. Um, the death card is all about transformation and yes, it's about endings, but it's also about beginnings. So this is about you, um, Starting new, starting fresh. Um, it's probably why the Ace of Swords came up, or the Ace of Wands came up, because you're wanting to start something new. You're wanting, you're wanting to break free from whatever this is that was haunting you, with the Nine of Swords. And because this is in reverse, I see you doing this. You are breaking free from this. Um, And then we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. So the Nine of Pentacles is all about you becoming self-sufficient. Now, I feel like many of you are self-sufficient, but it's it's kind of like an energy of building yourself back up. Because um, the Nine of Pentacles, she, she's built herself back up and she's able to stand on her own two feet. So. You're learning how to um, stand on your stand on your own two feet emotionally, and it's kind of like I kind of see this ace though the ace of pentacles. I see this more as you giving yourself this. Um, it's kind of like you're coming into this energy of like I deserve this, you know. Um, you're cultivating this love for yourself, and you're like you know it's time to face whatever that was. And then with the Six of Pentacles on the bottom, it's like you just want balance. You want things to be balanced. Now, I'm very drawn to... I cannot think of what that's called right now, the scale. <laughs> so, that reminds me of the Justice card. Um, this could be something that um, maybe was done to you unfairly. Um, Yeah, because we, we have the High Priestess with uh, the Sun, so it's like, it's kind of like a secret, a secret is um, getting exposed maybe, or you're becoming enlightened on something that happened. Okay, so let's see what we got, 13 minutes. Alright, so we are going to do one card from Frequency Tarot by Teal Swan. I absolutely love this deck. And hopefully it gives some good advice today. Alright, some advice for Aries. Oh. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. So, all right, so your advice is confidence, okay? Um, and then also the blue eye right there, uh, that represents truth. So you're seeing the truth for what it is, and there's some, you're building up your confidence. You're building up your confidence after it being destroyed. Maybe somebody made you feel unworthy, and you're kind of realizing, like, you know, um, this is my life, I don't have to feel that way, I can build myself back up. And you're getting your sense of empowerment back. You're building up confidence within yourself. You're seeing yourself um, differently than you have before. And then 13 breaks down two of four. So again, this is all about your own inner stability. And then we have, hopefully I say this right, Amlerite. So this card is all about, you're coming into a period of 
blessings in your life. You're entering a period of blessings and you're getting ready to have blessings pouring in your life if, if you haven't already. Um, okay, so I keep getting like um, solar plexus, solar plexus. Some of you might need to do some work on your solar plexus or you breaking free from this toxicity, this bad situation, facing your shadow, whatever it is for you, this is going to leave you feeling more confident. This is going to help you get your confidence back, okay? Um, yeah, you have beautiful things ahead. Stay positive, okay? We have positive, it says positive intention, and it breaks down to a number five. So make make the necessary changes. Uh, do whatever you have to do to make yourself happy. Because um, you have a lot of beautiful things ahead. Like, this is such a positive omen to see this come up in a reading. Like, it's just, every time I see it come up, it's, <laughs> every time I see it come up, it's just like, it's just a blessed time for you. It's a time of harvest. It's a time for you to win. So you have beautiful things ahead of you and beautiful things coming. And um, yeah, I hope you guys have a great week.